Hey guys, it's me, Producer Ross, and welcome to the third episode of my FIFA 21 Itchwich Town career mode. And the first thing I've got to do in this episode is, of course, do this. Champions, champions, ole, ole, ole. Yes, European International Cup champions. The first trophy in the Producer Ross trophy cabinet. I know it's only pre-season, but it still counts, okay? It still counts. I'm proud of the boys. They won. They won on penalties. Yes! But yes, today's episode, of course, is all about starting our League One campaign. 100 points, 100 goals. League One champions is the goal. Let's take a look at the calendar. That's one thing I haven't done, actually, in the previous episodes, is take a look at the calendar. Take a look at where we're starting our League One campaign. And we are starting our League One campaign at Portman Road against Accrington Stanley. Who are they? I had to bring that in. Of course, I had to mention that. I had to mention that. So that'll be an interesting game. Um, hopefully, we can start the season off with a win. Then we've got an away trip to Hull City, uh, which could be a tough test. They've just been relegated from the Championship. They've still got some good players. Then in the first round of the Carabao Cup, we have a trip to Southend United at Roots Hall. And you could say an easy tie for me. Uh, League 2, South End, not very good. So hopefully we can have a little cup run this year. Hopefully the cup ties will be easy on us. Um, I wouldn't mind playing a Premier League team, but maybe not too early. Maybe in the last 16 or something. I want to have a little cup run. And um, hopefully there. Then we head back to Porton Road to take on Crew, Liam from Crew's boys. That should be an interesting tie. Then we've got a tough away trip to Portsmouth on a Wednesday night. Then we've got a home tie against Sunderland at Portman Road for ending August against Shrewsbury Town. So that is our August schedule. Um, what we're going to do in this episode, of course, is start off with our first home game against Accrington Stanley. And that's pretty much where we're going to finish the episode on. Uh, of course, we're going to advance and we're going to see if we get any transfers, any loan offers. And possibly we'll be making our first signing. I'm not gonna yet. I'm not gonna say anything just yet. I'm having a little look. I've sent my scouts out. I'm deciding on maybe bringing in a player, but we're gonna wait for a sec, and we are gonna advance and let's see if we get any offers. So we've had no other transfer offers. We've had no other loan offers. So we're gonna go right into Riley Whitehouse, our boy, our youth scout, to see what he's found in his first month of scouting youth players and um, he's found five players here let's see if any of them are good enough to join our youth academy and even possibly jump into maybe the first team we're not going to get too ahead of ourselves but let's take a look at what he's found so first up is Aidan Wells he's 17 years of age overall 46 to 60 um, potential 62 to 82 and he's a six foot four goalkeeper um, which is good he's, he's tall which I like to see in a goalkeeper, of course. Uh, you want them to be a little bit tall so they can, of course, get the high balls. Um, now, I'm not going to make a decision on him just yet. 62 to 82 potential, it isn't great. Um, I'm sure I've got some other four players to go through. So I'm going to give him another month to see if he improves and we'll get back to him later on. We're now going to go into Bradley White. Um, straight away, I look at his potential and it's just not good enough. So we're going to go and say goodbye to Bradley. I'm sorry, Bradley. He looks pretty quick, though. Not too, no, sorry. Not good enough. Reject. So up next, we have Freddie Hicks, 16 years of age, 66 to 88 potential. He looks very good indeed. Very forward minor player, I think. Um, and stats are looking very good. Straight off the bat, I'm going to sign him up. That potential is looking good. Hopefully, that will go from... 66 to 88 to maybe 75 to 85. Hopefully that will be the plan. So Freddie Hicks, let's sign him up. Up next, we have Jonathan Jones, age 15, 64 to 90 potential. Um, so he looks very promising indeed. Some really good stats. Um, still very young, of course. But I am going to sign him up. I think he's got a decent potential. Let's sign him up and let's see if he can definitely grow into a good player. And finally, we have Joseph Muller, who's 16 years of age, 65 to 89 potential. He's a left footer. Um, we don't know his position just of yet because he's still a bit young. Um, but I'm making the decision straight off the bat. I am going to sign him up. 
to make him my third player from this first scouting thing. So it's been successful, I'll say. Let's quickly jump in to the Youth Academy. So here we are in the squad hub for the Youth Academy, and we can have a little closer look at the three youth players that we've just signed. Starting off with Freddie Hicks. He's a CDM and a centre mid. Um, so a player that can replace possibly Cole Skews, who I'm probably going to let go at some point. Um, and then we've got also Joseph Muller, who can also play centre mid and CDM. So we've got two promising youngsters that could possibly come into the first team in a season or two. Or maybe even next season. We'll wait and see on that. And we also got another right mid. In Jonathan Jones, who looks very good indeed. He's still 15 years of age. His potential could change. At the moment, it's 64 to 90. Of course, that could possibly go down or it could easily, easily go up. You never know. But I've just seen five-star weak foot, five-star weak foot, and four-star skill moves. This guy looks very good. And of course, we've got Lenny as well, who uh, could also be part of that you know, future crop. They're both 15 years of age. And it's gonna be it's gonna be hard to decide which ones I call up first. It's gonna be difficult, but the youth academy is looking promising already, which is good to see. And that's one thing I may not need to worry about signing players. Maybe in my youth academy, I can just promote all these great players that can come through. We'll see how it gets on though, and let's jump in to our first league game. So here we go, our first League One game. Let's attend a press conference and let's see what the media are gonna ask me in my first ever press conference for a league game. There we go, cameras, pictures taken at me, a ball randomly there, and a badge that says manager. So this is what reporters saying, it's which have looked the real deal in pre-season. Supporters have been getting really excited. Oh, okay. Well, so the first question here, can you carry your pre-season form into competitive games now? Um, let's read what we've got here. So it's about putting in the work, Let's just win games of football. I've been oppressed. I think I'm just going to go straight here. Let's just win games of football. Yes. There we go. Producer Ross, say your things, my friend. Say your things. Yeah, there you go. Right, next question. Can you be in the promotion shake-up? We'll be there or thereabouts. That's our aim. We'll give it our best. I promise. I promise. I'm just going to say that's our aim because that is our aim. I'm not going to say we'll be there or thereabouts because, no, that is our aim. So, of course, this is one question I knew that would come up. Will you sign anyone before deadline day? I haven't signed anybody just yet, but I'm just waiting. I'm waiting for the right moment. I'm right, waiting for the right player. So just bear with me. I'm not going to rush it because at the end of the day, I'm not going to sign four players in this window because that's just mad. That's just madness. I think the squad is strong enough at the moment. Um, but yeah, I like to sign players who are right for us. That's what I'm going to do. Because I don't want to, you know, unsettle the squad too much. I want to go, yeah, I'm going to sign three players because this team is not good enough. So there we go. Thank you. I'll not take any more questions. I don't want any more questions. I want to get right into our first game. That is the goal. So here we are. Fortress Portman Road. Our League One journey has begun. So let's get kickoff underway. Let's not muck about. Let's get into it. James Norwood to kick off, live from Portland Road. Let's see how we get on. That is not a good start. I've won a throw in, but I don't know what that pass was. I really don't know what that pass was. As you can see, there's no highlights because that first half, I just couldn't break down Atmerton. James Norwood had no attempts, no shots, because I couldn't break down this stubborn... Accurate defence. That first half was probably my worst game of football I've ever played on FIFA. Oh, let's just move on to the second half and hopefully better. Norwood, he's in. Come on, Norwood. You can run. Yes, Norwood. His first chance of the game. Oh, he's bloody missed it. Oh, my God. I'm doing the same action he's just done. Oh, no. Oh, so close. But his first shot of the game. I'm not happy, look. Oh, God. Oh, my God, no. No. No, you don't dare, Ackerton. Oh, what a save from Thomas Hoey. Oh, my God. What a save. I'm on the break. I'm actually on the break here. Dazelle. Still Dazelle. Oh, can't do it. Jackson. Guion Edwards is through. 
There's now he's on the run. There's now. Oh my god! 90 second minute winner! The boy Andre Dazel has done it! Oh my god, I can't. I've got no words. From Lily losing 1 0 to going the other side of the pitch to win it. Oh my god, Andre Dazel. What a goal! <laughs> Look at me! <laughs> Look at me! Yes! <laughs> oh my god. What a way to start my League One campaign with a late winner. It's been a terrible game. I'll tell you that now. And here we go. Full time whistle blows. And we have nicked. We are the jammiest of jammiest teams. Ever. But I'll take that. I'll take that 1-0 win. It wasn't a great game. I would probably give everybody a refund. Because that was just dreadful. But the boy Andre Dezel turned up when needed. My boy Guion crossed it in. And Andre was there to volley at home. Unbelievable scenes. Our first game. Ends 1-0. Three points in the bag. Let's move on. So there we go. The producer Ross era has begun in League One. We have kicked off our reign with a win. And hopefully this won't be happening every week. I do not want dramatic winners every week because I don't think Mike and Hart can take it. I don't think your eardrums can take it because that was just mad. I'm still trying to get over it. It's just crazy. Um, I'm going to leave this episode here now. I hope you've enjoyed today's episode, guys. Leave me a comment. Leave me a like. I um, hope you're going to enjoy this series. And next episode, we're going to continue our League One campaign. And we're also going to sign our first player. So wait and see on that, guys. So anyway, thank you all for watching. I've been producer Ross. And I'll catch you in the next video.